Hey guys, this is Rob here from Fallout Fitness and Bootcamps.com. Thank you very much for joining me on this video. Uh, what I want to talk to you today about is BMI. It's something that rarely gets spoken about. Um, now and again it crops up in the news, I'll come back to that in a little bit. But BMI, the initials for it mean body mass index. Now let me explain a little bit more in depth of what actually happens here. So say for instance you go to the hospital or you go to the chemist to like a boot, like some boots where they have them electronic skills you'll grab hold of the handles and it'll work out you know you'll put your height in you'll put your your age in and you also put your gender in as well and then it'll come up with this thing called BMI and if you're in between so you know this number and this number that means that you are you know overweight you're obese you're not healthy for your age you're not healthy for your weight you're not healthy for your height and all of these different things but like I said I mean BMI for me does mean belittle me inadequately and let me tell you why when you go on these scales like say for instance there was a incident not so long ago that came up and cropped up on my Facebook but it was in the news it was quite big it might have popped up on your Facebook as well but there was a lady she you know done a lot of weightlifting she wasn't excessive I'm not saying that she was a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger but you know she was toned um, you know she had the figure that a lot of women are after and what happened was she um, she stepped on the scales bloody bloody blah, blah, blah and the BMI came up with you know that she was obese that you know she was very unhealthy for her age her height her sex you know and all of these different things and it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense at all um, like I say when you step on the scores when you step on the scales there tends to be a story that's running through your head because you've done it to such a you know an early age that if I am this this means that I am this this and this now when women you know, I would say for instance, not so long ago, I had, a, I had a client where she wanted this awesome body. She said, look, you know, I want to, I want this awesome body. I want to feel more energized. I want to feel more fitter. I want all of these different things. And, and you know, we, we actually got what, where she wanted. We upped the meals. The meals were like two a day, but they were terrible. There wasn't much, you know, nutrients in them. It was, wasn't great at all. We upped them took her to three meals a day and then she's seen this massive shift in her body but then the then the weight came back into it and you know like at the end of the day she put on eight or nine pounds but she had the body that she wanted you know and for me when you start measuring that up against you know what you can do how you feel and all of these different things it just doesn't make sense it's like I've seen guys you know they're being 15 stone they rip the shreds they go weightlifting every day and the BMI comes back as obese it's absolutely crazy it just does not make sense to me now say for instance if you are like an adult that is carrying a lot of, you know of accumulated fat around with you then yes you're not going to be healthy but if you're someone that goes to the gym every day your nutrition is spot on and you know all of these different things then it doesn't make sense you know like this BMI just does not make sense to me and then, like I said it's belittling you inadequately you know that's why I'm actually saying BMI stands for now belittle me inadequ inadequately blah 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 but um, say for instance if you're watching this on your mobile device then you know the the chances are you're not really bothered about its weight all right you're looking at it it looks you know if you're looking at an iPhone it looks sleek it looks gorgeous you don't measure it by its weight you look at the things that it can do you know can it text can it do video calls has it got apps on it you know the function does it function well you know that's the main thing here and I can guarantee that that's why you've bought it all right it looks great you can do all of these different things on it but when does weight come into the equation same as a car you know like if you've got a uh, you know a car with a lot of horsepower and you know it does all of these different things you know like you're looking at it and it it can do you know it's got heated seats it's got this it's got that and it, it's like shit off a stick then when does the weight come into the equation it's like I just cannot I cannot get my head around why the NHS are still using you know BMI as a as a as a as a tool to see if people are unhealthy you know just use some you know body fat calipers 
uh, or some kind of electronic body fat scale to see if people are carrying around a hell of a lot of fat. If you are, then you aren't going to be healthy. You know, you're not going to be a healthy individual. But to work it out on a B, like a BMI scale and say that you're obese, you're overweight, because this scale says this, this, and this, it's bullshit, man. It's absolute bullshit. So that's why I just wanted to, you know, come on, do this video, and hopefully it's helped you understand a little bit more about where I'm coming on BMI and why you shouldn't use it either uh, to, to kind of weigh out, you know, where you are with regards to your body, um, how you're functioning, how much energy have you got, you know, do you feel healthy, do you feel strong, and all of these different things. Do not let a BMI dictate all of that. All right, so this is Rob from FortiFitnessAndBootCamps.com. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.